Hi everybody, today we're going to show you how to set up your Clean Water System 7500 Rev 2.5 Pro Ox system. Now I wanted to mention something before we get started and this is very important especially when you have multiple systems. You're going to receive several boxes. You're going to receive a box with your control valve, you're going to uh, receive a box with your various media, and you're going to set, get a box with a tank. It could be three, four, five, six boxes. It's going to depend on the size of the system. The first thing you want to do is go for this box. This box with the open first sticker on it is going to be your control valve. Inside that box there will be a control valve and there will be your packing list. This is going to help you lay all of your equipment out for each system. So if you had two or three systems you can imagine you're going to have 15 boxes. So the first thing we want you to do is get a hold of this packing list, go down through it and it lists all of the uh, what, what's in each box and the weight of the boxes. So that's very important, the first thing to do. The second thing when you get that, go ahead and stage each system by itself. So we'll just review here. We have, you're going to have in, inside one box, you're going to have your bypass valve. And there will be four clips in a bag in that bypass valve box. You're going to have the control valve box. That's this box here. This is already going to be set up with your drain line flow control program for your system. All you're going to have to do is program the time and the date. Uh, this will also come with a, your top screen, a bag with your uh, tank o-ring, a hose clamp for your drain line, and some 100% food grade silicon lube to lube your o-ring with. Then you're going to have your different media. We send you the amount of media you need for your system. You just have to make sure on this system, first is going to go the gravel. You'll put this whole gravel in. It'll be in a clear bag marked gravel. It'll show the weight of the gravel. You're going to put that in first. The second is going to be the Pro-Ox. Now depending on your system size, you're going to get one large half cubic foot bag of Pro-Ox. It's going to come in this bag here. There's a white bag inside of it. This is going to be your large volume Pro-Ox. You'll put that in on the gravel. And then if there's a smaller bag, to, to make up for the half sizes, then you'll, you'll use this smaller Pro-Ox bag. And then the last media that you're going to put in is the Turbidex. This goes on top of the Pro-Ox. And again, we send the correct weights for your system size, so you'll just put it all in. At the end of this, you want to be about three quarters of the way full in the tank. Two thirds of the way to three quarters. That's, we send you the right amount so you come out to that so you can't overfill the tank. Okay, so once you have everything staged, you've checked off everything on your uh, packing list, you know your system ready to go, you can go ahead and start uh, the installation process. So the first thing is your tank's going to have a deep distributor tube in it. This is the distributor tube, basically water goes down over the media, comes back up through the distributor tube, and out to your service. During the backwash, that flow direction's reversed and the water goes down the distributor tube through the bottom basket here and then back it lifts up through the media out to drain to flush all the filtering that you know your iron and whatnot manganese that you've been filtering out so the first thing we want to make sure is also notice sometimes it's shipping these tanks the stands they'll, they'll be crooked the uh, foot on the bottom of these tanks are not glued the tanks just did it so you can actually lift and bounce this on corners to make it straight again. So you want to make sure you're straight first of all. Then you're going to go ahead and put your distributor tube in and you want to make sure this is flush with the top of the tank. And a good way to do that is spin it like a top and it'll all come right down in the in and you'll be at the you know you'll be seated at the bottom. You can kind of pull it over and see that it's pretty close. Okay. We have two types of funnels we use. You'll either receive a blue funnel, clear hole in it, or one of these black funnels that have a spot to blank off with the distributor tube. You need to cover this distributor tube. You don't want to get any media down inside there. So if you have the black funnel, you'll be able to just seat the distributor tube inside of this little area here and you go ahead and fill your tank. If you have the blue funnel, you're going to need to use like a piece of tape. You do yourself a buddy tab on there. And then you can put that on there. Make sure you don't seal it up too tight because you're going to need to be able to remove this tape once you're done. 
without pulling the distributor tube up. So make sure you seal it, but uh, you know, don't go too tight. Okay, so anyway, what you'll do at this point, and I have my, my funnel in here over the distributor tube. We'll go ahead, like I mentioned before, the first thing we'll do is put the gravel in. Then we'll put all the Pro-Ox in and start with your larger bags and then add some smaller bags in the clear plastic if you have it. Again, they're labeled. Last, you'll put in all of your Turbidex. You'll pour all this in. At this point, what I want you to do is fill it up about almost full with water. Add a cup of uh, non-scented bleach and then continue filling it all the way up with water. What that's going to do is it's going to sanitize your system and activate the Pro-Ox media. Okay, so once you have your media in there and it's soaked, you let that soak for a minimum of an hour. You can let it soak up to 24 hours if you want to get that far the night before and put the valve on, continue the next morning, that's fine. Um, just make sure you let it soak for at least an hour. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is prepare our control valve for being in, uh, installed. So what you're going to do... is in the control valve, there's the O-ring in here that seats around the distributor tube. You're going to use your little packet of lube here, the 100% food grade silicon. You're going to put on this tank O-ring and you're going to put on this O-ring in here. This will get installed down into the groove here. And make sure you lube that O-ring as well. The next thing we're going to do is install the top screen. This is basically like a pressure cooker lid. You, you pop it in, and then you, you turn it. And this particular one turns clockwise. Actually, I'm sorry, it turns counterclockwise. So you're going to put it in, turn it counterclockwise, make sure that's locked in there. You're going to come down, okay now when installing these control valves to the tanks you don't want to use any lubricant on the threads at all. You've already lubed that large o-ring on there. That's your seal. You also don't need to use a wrench or anything on this. You just want to get that thing to seat on there nice and hand tight. Make sure you're O-ring doesn't, you know, come out of the groove there and it fits nicely. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install our bypass valve. Now I wanted to mention, occasionally, take this out. on the outlet side of the bypass valve, there's a little flow meter in there, you can see it. These fall out sometimes. Zoom in there so you can see the little fins. Okay, you can see the fin inside there. Sometimes those fall out. So what you want to do is just put the fan part towards the back of the valve, put it back in. Again, this is on the outlet side of the valve. So you can see that it fits back down in there. Okay, so we're going to pop this up on here. You're going to take the four clips out of the bypass box and you're going to put two of them here on the inlet and outlet. And then you're going to put two up here towards the valve and they snap in like that. The nice thing here is you can rotate these if you want to plumb it in sideways from below or up above. You can move all of that. Okay, at this point we're going to put the valve in a bypass which is this direction. So now your valve's in bypass. And before I spin this around here, this is where you're going to uh, install your drain line. Your drain line is going to go right here on this bottom port. Basically, you'll slide, the, warm this hose up with some warm water. You'll slide the hose over and install it with the hose clamp. Okay, so that's where that's going to get installed. This is plugged. You don't need to do anything with this. You see this wire here? This is going to be for the flow meter. 
you're going to go ahead and you're going to install that. It's rounded and keyed flat on one side. So you can go ahead and install that just like this. And again, remember your flow meter was in here in this side. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to hook up your inlet and outlet. Going to hook your drain line up. Now you're ready to uh, start your initial backwash. <clears throat> Okay, so now we've got our system set up. We're going to go ahead and go through some, show you how to program some of the user parameters here. As I mentioned before, this uh, is actually have, it's already been set up for your system type uh, and media. So what we're going to do now is just show you how to set the date and time and uh, your regen times and things like that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is hold this down arrow and up arrow button together and it's going to unlock. Okay, you hear the beep, now it's unlocked. You're going to go ahead and hit this first button over here, the square with the arrow facing the left. That's going to put you in your programming mode. Okay, so we're going to go to time of day. Hit that first button again. And we'll say it's 8.30. So there's 7, 8. Hit this button again. Up to 8.30. Now if you want PM, go back into that. If you want to go AM here, what you've got to do is just scroll through here and then it'll change to the AM and back to the PM. Okay, set the date and there again you're just going to scroll across to the next one, up and down to your date, to the next one, hit it again and you're back out. Capacity. Again, your system's been set up, preset up for this, but you can go ahead and program this and change this if you want. This particular system was 1,200 gallons capacity. Some have 14, some have thousands. So you know, six, five, six thousand. So just depends on your system. Okay, then we're going to go to the rinse frequency. You don't need to worry about regen time. Okay, so if you've got multiple systems, this is real important because you don't want to have the systems backwash at the same time. So what you'll do is you'll stage them. Uh, if you have like two systems, maybe one's a softener, you always program the softener the last because it takes a little longer than an hour to regen. So you would want to set your regen time maybe at 2, 3, and 4 a.m. if you had three systems such as that. But there again, you can go in here, scroll up and down to your different time. We're going to set this at 2 a.m. Okay, there's your regen time set. Uh, backwash time, again, we've preset this for you. Fast rinse time has been reset. Max days for regeneration. Okay, so we've got these preset as well. This one's set for four. Depending on your water quality, you may be able to change this. You may need to put it to three. You may be able to go out to five or six days. So that's something you do have the ability to adjust if you, if you wanted to. Okay, and then there's these uh, daily lo usage logs and things. They're kind of neat. You've Shows you how much uh, usage you use per day, uh, gallons per day kind of thing. And uh, there again, um, you can come back through that. There's peak usage, you, just all information. There's no settings here. Anyway, when you've got all of that set, you're going to go ahead and push the second button here with the finger and the arrow facing to the left. And that's going to put you back now into service. So you're in service mode. So what you want to do initial on in your initial backwash is you want to go ahead and put this into backwash. So if you push this second finger button here again, what it's going to do, it's going to go ahead and advance. And you'll hear the motor running, that's your disc going. Okay, now you can see you're in backwash. This is the point where you open your uh, bypass valve really, really slow. It should take you almost the full 10 minutes to get this bypass valve in a fully open position. Once that happens, it's going to run through its 10 minute cycle. Just let it run through its 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and advance it. You can do that by keep pushing this button just for the time saving. And now we're going to go and it'll go into the rapid rinse. So what's happening is you're backwashing, you're lifting that media up and you're going out to drain in the rapid rinse, which you're doing, or fast rinse they call it. The, the water's going down and recompacting the media and up through your drain. So what you're going to do now that it's fully open is you're going to let it run through its fast rinse. 
You're going to go ahead and advance it again, which then it'll go into service. You're going to advance it one more time. You're going to keep cycling between uh, backwash and rapid rinse until the water coming out your drain line in the rapid rinse or fast rinse direction is clear. So you can see this is in service. So we're just going to go ahead. You're going to advance it to backwash and you're going to see that uh, water turn really dark black coming out your drain line again. So you go back and forth and you'll notice but after the second or third one it'll the darkness will start lightening up. It'll be a light gray. Anyway, it may take you three uh, backwash rapid rinse cycles, four, maybe even five. But when you see clear water coming out during the fast or rapid rinse cycle, that's when you know you've flushed uh, all the smalls and fines out of your media and you're ready to go into service. Once that's done, there again, you can just backwash it, advance it around. And like I said, once you're, if you're doing this for real, just let them time down from their, their pre-set times. And then this will come back around. You'll see it in the service mode, and you'll be ready to uh, use your system at that point. Once the valve is into backwash mode, you're going to go ahead and you're going to open your inlet to your water supply very slowly start opening your bypass valve. The backwash is going to last 10 minutes. I want it to take almost all 10 minutes to be fully open on this valve. Remember what you're doing. You're going down through the D-tube, lifting the media up and out to drain. The Prox media has a lot of really fine particles. That's why this works so well for removal of iron. So what you want to do is not blow all that stuff out. You want to just rinse it out of the media gently so you've got to really go slow it starts so over the 10 minutes you want to open that valve up once that valve is fully open it'll run and then it'll go into the rapid rinse at that point the water comes down over the media repacks the media goes up the dra distributor tube but still goes out to drain okay you're going to let that finish its cycle and then it's going to come back around and I'm just advancing it. If you want to advance it, you can just hit that second finger button and advance through the steps. And then it'll come back to your uh, in-service mode, okay? So, now you've done one backwash, one rapid rinse. So what you're going to do is you're going to need, need to continue to do this maybe take three, four, five times. But what you want to do is when you go into the fast rinse mode, the second step, you want to make sure that the water coming out your clear drain line here is clear. Once the water comes out, the backwash will still be a little gray. You'll, you'll see it dark and it'll get lighter in every regeneration. Once in rapid rinse, it comes out, the water's coming out clear, then you're going to be uh, able to go ahead and be in service mode, open the water to your house, and, and um, you know, you're, you're ready to be in service. Uh, there again, that, this uh, initial startup, I can't stress enough, very slow water. You, you come in, you trickle it in, and literally take the, at least five minutes, but between the five and ten minutes, it's in the backwash before you're fully open here. Um, okay, after that, you should have years of uh, service with this system. Uh, contact us if you have any questions. We have a great technical staff here that would be glad to help you out with your startup. If you have any questions prior to starting up, give us a call. Uh, have a great day.